The next award goes to an alumnus who's committed to improving the quality of life for all of Fresno County. Coming from Mexico as part of the Bracero program, Henry Perea's father valued hard work and education. His mother and father worked several jobs to put all of their children through private school. Henry graduated from San Joaquin Memorial, and in 1974, he graduated from Fresno State with a criminology degree. He later earned a master's in public administration from the University of Southern California. In 1974, Henry worked with disadvantaged youth. He has spent 30 years in human resource management, has worked as an adjunct professor at Fresno Pacific University, and served 15 years as a Fresno Police Reserve Officer. Henry began his political career on the Fresno County Board of Education, followed by the Fresno City Council. This year, he serves as the chairman of the Fresno County Board of Supervisors. Of all his accomplishments, Henry's greatest joy comes from his family. He enjoys spending free time with Casey, his children, and their families. His son, Henry T., currently serves in the California State Assembly. Daughter, Annalisa, is a planner for precision engineering, and Thomas is a certified EMT for American Ambulance. Watching his family grow reinforces Henry's ongoing commitment to improve the quality of life for all of Fresno County. Please join me in honoring the 2013 Top Dog Outstanding Alumnus on behalf of the College of Social Sciences to Henry R. Perea, escorted by Dean Luz Gonzalez. This is a dream, don't wake me up. This is amazing. And it's really very humbling. I mean, there are so many folks out in this audience, and I'm sure those that are, aren't here tonight that I think are far more deserving uh, of this award than I, but, but I, I wanna say thank you from the bottom, bottom of my heart. Uh, you know, life is, is, is such an amazing journey, you know, and, and when, I, when I received the call from Dr. Gonzalez that this award was gonna be uh, awarded to me, I was, I was shocked, and, but I was very thankful and grateful. Uh, the acknowledgement because I, you know, I love this university, and uh, I'll tell you that there's so many special things about tonight. But when I think about uh, Dr. You know, being here with Dr. Castro, um, new president of the university, following Dr. Welty, who did an amazing job, there's just so many great things that are going to happen. And I only have one ask, Dr. Castro. You know, we're going to be at the game with you tomorrow, and my dad was an amazing soccer player. I wasn't but I always had the dream of kicking a field goal. So if the dogs are down by two points and they're on the 50 yard line and two seconds left, get me on the field tomorrow, okay? <laughs> but you know, uh, I don't know if you can see the, the pink tie. I, I don't usually wear pink ties, but uh, Casey, who's my fashionista, told me to uh, wear the pink tie to remind everybody that this month is cancer, breast cancer awareness month. So make sure that everybody that you know and love is you know, they're doing their checks because prevention is, is a cure for many, in many cases to catch it early and, and to cure this horrible disease. But, you know, let me just say a, a few things. You know, uh, it started out the clip with my, my family, like a lot of you folks. So, you know, this is a country of immigrants. You know, you, you all have a story. We all have a story. And, you know, my dad came as, as a part of the Barcero program back in the 40s, and my mom and her family were already here. But as my mom's brothers fought in one in the European theater, the other in the Pacific theater, part of that great, you know, the greatest generation that we all talk about, uh, which it was, you know, there was another greatest generation, and that was, that was the folks that came, the men and women from Mexico who came into this country under the Bacero program when our soldiers were fighting for our freedom. These folks came in and they harvested our crops to make sure that our country was eating. And my dad was a part of that, and uh, I, I, got, I have to imagine all the conversations I had with him. It was tough leaving his family, coming here, but he was a young guy uh, who wanted to find a better opportunity like all of us did, uh, all of our families and did. And, uh, you know, he came as a part of that, and he met my mom in Selma, and they, uh, they got married, and, and they, they stayed here and grew and raised their family. But the one thing that, that he really instilled in us, like you, your parents did with you, was the value uh, of education. Because education was the key and is the key, will always be the key to prosperity in any community, in any family. So, you know, my dad, like a lot of your dads, uh, he wasn't big on hugs or I love you, I love you. Uh, he did that by, 
by giving you the education, by giving you a roof over your head, and, uh, and making sure that you were doing your homework every night. You know, my mom was in charge of the, the love department. The, uh, you know, my, my family that, that's here tonight, Casey is, gosh, I can't see all these lights, but Casey's in the audience, uh, amazing woman. My daughter, Annalisa, and her partner, Jennifer, in the corner somewhere over there. Uh, my son, Thomas, and his girlfriend, Ashley. My son, Henry T., who's not here tonight, he's completing his master's degree program and, uh, at USC, and he's there uh, this weekend and taking his last class, following in dad's footsteps, getting the USC uh, uh, degree. And I'll tell you a funny story. He and I went to the USC Bulldog game a few years back, and uh, one of the UC, USC alumni folks, they got us our tickets. We're on the 50-yard line at the stadium, at the Coliseum, and they said, you just have to promise you one thing. You go, you can't cheer for Fresno State. You're in the heart of the USC folks. So probably for the first quarter, we were pretty quiet, you know, just kind of sent there. But after a while, we just couldn't, we couldn't wait anymore. We started cheering, and we, we, we made a lot of friends. Uh, we, said, we sat next to, is it Matt Garcia, Mark Garcia, the quarterback? The, next to his parents, they were just really nice people, and, and they embraced us, and we just had a great time that night. But it was about education. It was about doing a lot of things, uh, doing everything that we want to do. And I, I, I liked the, the clip that we wrote, because I, I remember Henry was in college, kind of finding his way through life too. And, and he, you know, he, one day when I was on the city council, he told me, Dad, he goes, what are, when are you going to decide what do you want to do when you grow up? He goes, you've been a police reserve officer, you've been a school board member, you've been in HR for 30 years, now you're a city councilman, you've been a professor at Fresno Pacific. When are you going to make up your mind? And, and I told I just laughed. I go, son, you know, my parents, like me as a parent, like you as parents, tell your kids, you know, our job is, is to give you the skills and open the opportunities for you to use that education. Because then once you have it, you can, go, well, you can walk through any door that you want. And I think that's a lesson we all give all of our kids. And, and being up here, just be able to share that part of that message with you is, is I don't know, is just great. Fresno State, it, you know, was a, played a huge role in giving me that key that my parents valued for us as kids uh, in, in our education to make things happen. You know, my five brothers and sisters aren't here tonight. A lot of them are, are you know, busy doing other things, you know, work and all, but my sister Stella is here, and uh, one of my best friends, Trish Miller, is, is here too, uh, sharing this evening with me. So, uh, you know, I'll just kind of leave it there. Um, you know, you're gonna have uh, uh, the keynote uh, alumni, the top, the toppest dog in a few minutes. He's a pretty amazing guy, but when I look at the business community that is in this town, whether it's the Smith Camp family or the Semi family and other folks that are here tonight, I mean, when you combine government and business in the right mix, and we all understand that it's not government's job to create jobs. We don't create jobs. Our, our job is to create the opportunity for the private sector to create prosperity in this community. And uh, I think there's some great things that Fresno County has done recently with our board working together. We've, we've set some, some business goals and created some opportunities that's gonna bring a lot of diversification to our economic base. And you'll probably be hearing more about that in a few minutes. But I want to thank you, really, from the bottom of my heart, the bottom of my family's heart. And uh, this is a day I will never forget. Thank you.